Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my friends and family all around the world. <clears throat> yes, I'm back in Long Beach after two months of staying away. Uh, as uh, <clears throat> Thank you so much, Joanne, for introducing me. That was really a, a nice introduction. And today's, uh, today's webinar is going to be two parts. First part, I will just, just I will have you discover something for yourself about online presence and, and taking advantage of the global economy and discovering what the new economy is all about. And second part, Dr. Julian will come in and give you a short training on how to monetize this, this uh, World Wide Web. So uh, sit back, relax. Uh, again, uh, as Joanne mentioned, my background is in business and I've uh, been successful at some businesses and some businesses I have not been. Yet I've discovered um, through my journeys that uh, I was always looking for something that, uh, that I could work hard at, yet continue to grow even when the economy in, in one country is down. So uh, I'm gonna, uh, let me share my, uh, my slides with you now. All right, so the company I'm gonna be talking to you about is Jeunesse Global. Now Jeunesse is a, is a French word for youth, yet it's an American company. We started in September 9th, 2009 in Orlando, Florida. And the company was focused or is focused on helping all of us look younger on the outside and the inside. So what does this have to do with us and you? <clears throat> well, it's about the global convergence. What is a global convergence? Well, today I'm coming to you live from Long Beach, California. You may be in Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, South America, North America, uh, or one of the 50 states. And it's about the technology of how I, I uh, come to you directly online. And what it does, it makes this world so much smaller, doesn't it? I mean, you could pick up your phone and call someone and see, the face, see them face to face, can't you? That's globalization. Our world has become so small. And look at the businesses, businesses like Airbnb and Uber, they're all over the world. And what this has done is it's created a new economy. Now, I just got back from a two month trip with my wife and my family, and this is the first time I've been away for so long, uh, not tending to my business here in the US, yet my business still continues. Why? It's because a new economy is all about virtual business. It's really about getting online. And throughout my journey uh, into Europe, I discovered that most people, they don't want to work for anyone. They want freedom. Uh, for example, I was talking to an Uber driver. Every Uber driver I speak to say, you know what? This is perfect because I can drop my kids off in the morning, I can go home for lunch, and I come back and work some more and, and, and relax. And, and he doesn't have to, or he, she doesn't have to, to go to clock in anywhere. So everybody wants time freedom. They want to be able to do what they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. And this has brought about uh, what Jeunesse has been created by Randy Ray and Wendy Lewis, the founders of Jeunesse Global. Now these are brilliant minds. And for the last 20 years, what they have done is they have put together a system that we're able to do business in over 200 countries and territories around the world. Not only that, <clears throat> they're all of hearts of gold. Their, their passion is to give back. You know, when they came out of retirement, it's because, not that they needed money, it's because they wanted to help people like you and I to really find that freedom. Not just financial independence, but beyond that, to be able to, to travel, to go to places that we only dreamed of. And they have been able to do that. Now this is, a, as I mentioned before, Jeunesse started September 9, 2009, nine and a half years ago. And within those nine and a half years, we won a lot of awards. And as you can see, Scott Lewis, he's actually the the chief visionary officer of the company. He is a bundle of energy. He, drive, he travels all over the world meeting people, not just meeting people, but really discovering what's in it for these people. What are they looking for? How can Jeunesse make their life easy for them? And in a very short period of time, we've been able to do business in over 140 countries around the world. Now, I am a traditional business owner. I know how difficult it is for me to do business just in the US, my traditional business. Now, to go across state lines for me is also difficult, but talking about internationally, in my traditional business, it's impossible, just because logistically it cannot. But what's impressive to me was when I saw this, that, that Jeunesse is able to take the products, which I'll share with you in just a few minutes, is able to, 
to get the approval of so many different countries around the world to be able to market the products around the world so people can get the benefits, the health benefits of the products. So we are rapidly growing. One of the newest countries that's gonna be on the map is going to be Vietnam. And I was just there with my family. And I'm telling you, the people there, they are ready, they're hungry, because opportunity is a very small abroad. Here in the US, we have so many opportunities. And people say, you know, I'll get to it next time, next time. But around the world, it's different. So when people are presented with this opportunity, they're like, I want more. This is the perfect time for me. So people are happy. Now, we won numerous awards, over 500 awards up to date. Recently, last week, we, we collected so many new awards. And, you know, I want to tell you this because uh, there isn't a company in the market at this point who has hit the numbers that we've hit. You know, we've done over a billion dollars of business just last year. We actually, three years in a row, we've done uh, over a billion dollars in business. Now, in our industry of direct sales or network marketing, whatever you want to call it, this is not, this doesn't happen. Because the last company who broke a billion dollars in business, it took them 10 years. We did in year number six, year number seven, year number eight, and year number nine. So again, when you look back at, when you look at a company, you wanna make sure that they have their credibility, they're growing, not just one year, but continue to expand. So this is a legacy company. We have actually uh, been awarded by Direct Sales Association to be one of the fastest growing companies in the world today. Number 14, fastest growing company in the world. And again, these awards, and I went to the headquarters, you know, they're saying that there isn't enough space to house all the awards that we win, uh, win business awards. Awards for our video content, awards for our products, awards for people visiting our website, and numerous business awards for the growth, as well as Wendy Lewis, who, is one, who has been recognized three years in a row to be the most influential woman in in, in this industry today. Now, I might be talking fast right now because I'm excited. So <clears throat> let me slow down a bit. Road to a billion dollars. Now, if you look at these traditional companies, you're looking at Apple, Facebook, Amazon, eBay, and Google. They were all hit a billion dollars, but they're traditional businesses. We are the first company, as I mentioned before, in our industry to hit this mark in, in six years. Now, I wanna impress upon you another one thing. Now, when you're talking about a billion dollar company, we're talking about products that we're, I'm gonna share with you, just a minute. Uh, it's that people are in love with these products. Why is that? It's because they work. People see the results of the products. And I wanna talk how we do this. Now, traditional, what's the difference between traditional marketing and network marketing? People are really, they're really up in the air about what this, what this new network marketing is. Actually, it's an old uh, a way of building business, but people are not really understanding what it does. So. Traditional marketing, millions of dollars are spent each week on advertising. Now, how many times when you turn on a TV, uh, have you seen a commercial for, uh, let's say Nike uh, or, or McDonald's or, or a name brand car like Mercedes? They spend millions and millions and millions of dollars. And nowadays, we all have this thing called the remote control, right? We're able to turn off the uh, or switch the channel. We don't want to watch watch commercials, right? Why waste time? We want to get to the next show, what's, what's on the other channel, right? and advertisers on magazines. You know, most people aren't picking up these advertise, uh, these magazines anymore. What are they doing? They're picking up their cell phone. That's how they're getting their news. Only the news that they wanna hear. So they're not looking for advertisers. They don't wanna listen to them. Yes, and, and companies spend millions and millions of dollars on, on billboards as well. <clears throat> so again, <clears throat> this is, it worked before, but now it's not working. So what works is network marketing is because millions of dollars are paid to people like you and I, just regular people like you and I for sharing something. Like for example, if you go to a good restaurant, what do you do? You tell your friend, right? <clears throat> you tell your friend, hey, listen, you gotta go have, have Vietnamese noodles at this, at this new restaurant I just discovered. They have the best tasting, best tasting uh, forever. But does the owner of that restaurant call you and say, Voss, hey, I want to thank you. I want to give you some money for sending people my way. No, that doesn't happen, right? Well, that's how network marketing works. Here is a, a group of people who are connected through the websites, through online presence by sharing, sharing the benefits of our products. And not only that, how our business works. So it's easier because why? It's because people trust people who you know. 
if I tell my brother or sister or a friend of mine about something new, something exciting, or something that's going to benefit them, of course they're going to, they're willing to learn. So this is how, why network marketing, the companies grow because it's word of mouth. And, and this is a difference between traditional marketing and network marketing. And the industry we're talking about is a billion dollar industry. It's all about helping us look younger and feel better on the outside as in, well as the inside. Of course, we want to look pretty on the outside, right? But what about the inside? So Jeunesse is very smart. They started with two different products. One is a product that you, when you put it on, within a short period of time, you're able to see the fine lines, wrinkles, age spots disappear. So you look younger on the outside, the Luminous line. And I'll talk a little bit more about this line. Second, the company is very smart. They said, well, we take care of the outside. What about the inside? Well, they presented a product that has a lot of vitamins and minerals that's able to go into the, into the, to the, to the body and to slow down aging of our cells. That's the reserve. This is my favorite product. Actually, I have one packet right here. <clears throat> and then not only that, you know, Jeunesse wanted to say, you know, what, what about the people? What about uh, the, the process of aging? We're all aging. It's, inevitable there's nothing that we can do about aging right what if we have products like finity that can reverse cells cellular damage over time see chronologically i am 52 years old yes i don't look it right <laughs> well either way i'm 52 years old chronologically but my biological my cellular age could be 25 or 35 depending on how healthy my cells are so products like ampm which have which are loaded with up to 77 different vitamins minerals and herbs that could slow down the aging of my cells and not only that but give me health and i'll talk a little bit more about that later also one of the biggest crazes that we have at the moment is called a zen system zen project 8 all over social media if you get on if you get on facebook you'll discover zen project 8 what this product does it, it does, it burns body fat and builds muscle mass. And what, what, what is, why does people want to lose weight all the time? People want to lose weight. They want to look good, right? But this is not a diet system. It's actually a lifestyle change. It's about eating healthy. It's about, it's about doing, it's about exercising. It's about being at your top le health level uh, and to, to live life. And, and Mark McDonald, who is a brand ambassador, he takes people from zero to hero. It takes people from, from where they are today to, to getting them into tip top shape by using the Zen body system, as well as incorporating healthy diet, as well as exercise. Uh, and right now there's a challenge, there's a plank challenge. So get on, get on uh, Facebook, look for Zen Project 8. And we have products that can to, to help us remember more. You know, there's, um, there's so many things that come our way every single day, right? I could barely remember phone numbers. That's why we have smartphones to remember our numbers, right? Products like mine, which has, you know, the ingredients, uh, CERQ and L-theanine that have been proven to bring memory and improve our, uh, the way our brain works. So people want, people want to remember things. They, they don't want to forget things. And how many of you guys drink energy drinks? You know, I, I have so much energy, I don't, but I know a lot of friends do. But they drink these energy drinks that are out there. It gives them quick high, quick low, burnouts. But our product, Nevo, has been proven to sustain energy for a long period of time. And it's natural caffeine. And one of the, one of the products that have gone viral in the, on the internet is Instantly Ageless. You put this, it's a micro cream that you put above, underneath your eye bags within minutes you can see the eye bags disappear. It's temporary product, but it's good for parties, weddings. We go to a photo shoot. <clears throat> Ask your friend who told you about this, uh, who told you about the webinar. They'll tell, explain everything about the product. It's instant. We have uh, world-renowned products like Envy, which women love because it's a foundation, makeup foundation line that is not just foundation, but skin benefits. Again, we have a number of other products that are not, I'm not going to go over at the moment, but ask the person who put you on the webinar and they'll explain Naara, another, another amazing product. And, and again, uh, these are products that are designed to, to help people look younger on the outside as well as the inside. Now, Dr. Nathan Newman, this guy is a brilliant a doctor. He's not only a doctor, he's a researcher and a scientist. He is board certified dermatologist and a cosmetic surgeon. He is here in Beverly Hills, California. He's actually the, uh, the developer of our Luminous line of products. He's a world leader 
in stem cell technology formulation. He is all over TV, he's in magazines, he writes articles. And what he has discovered in his research is what growth factors were. Now, I quite didn't understand what growth factors were because I didn't come from the skincare industry or the nutrition industry. And what I discovered was growth factors are the language our skin talks to one another. So similar to, to me speaking to you in English so you could understand, our skin has their own language. It's called growth factors. Now, when we're young, we have a lot of growth factors. That's why, you know, if you ever uh, see a, a baby or an infant, their skin is soft and supple, right? What happens as we get older? We get to 20, 25, our skin begins to, to, to not produce the good things that help us look younger. So we begin the process of aging and we can see wrinkles, fine lines, and these these uh, the growth factors are able to wake up your own cells. So our product line doesn't have any collagen or anything, collagen or anything like that. But what it does, it has a language that can tell your skin to wake up and start working again. And we've done studies, and the studies have shown tremendous results. 87 to 93 percent of the people that use a the product, they see amazing results. The elasticity, the luminosity of the skin, they see a difference. Not only do they see a difference, but their friends will say, hey, what are you doing different? You look younger, you look different today. And you know what Dr. Nathan said that? He has never seen a product that 100% of the people will share with other people. Why? It's because it's something good. You know, one of my friends, this is Winnie Sutanyo. I saw her yesterday, amazing, dynamic individual. She's actually one of the five founding distributors of Jeunesse Global. She's very brave. When Jeunesse started in, uh, in 2009, she used the serum. That was the only skincare line we had, the product we had. She used it for 10 weeks in a row on half of her face. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't do it. She did that because she didn't want to show a before and after picture. She said, here's my face. You see the one side, left side versus the right side. Now, if you look at this picture closely in front of you, you'll notice that the side that she uses serum on for 10 weeks, it's the, you can see that the eye bags are much smaller on the left side of the picture versus the right side, right? But what about the smile line? Look how deep it is on the right side of the picture versus the left side. Now, look how tight the jaw is on one side compared to the other side where it's soft and saggy. Well, that's because she used it on half of her face. Now, one of her friends who is a skin cancer specialist, he said, hey, Winnie, uh, it seems like you have, a, you have had a stroke. Your, your face is lopsided. And, and she said, no, I use this product. And he was very curious. He said, Winnie, let me use my dermoscope, which is a microscope that checks the skin. And he was able to see the difference. Now, the sides, she didn't use it. You could see the red blood vessels and the white heads and the black heads. You can see that because collagen lies on the dermis, the second layer of the skin. And when there's no collagen at her age, this picture is taken when she's 62 years old, you can, you can see right through the skin to where the blood vessels are. If you, if you notice, if uh, there's older people that you know who have fair skin, you'll notice that. Now the side that she, on the left side, it's yellow and shiny. What is that? Well, it's collagen. She's growing her own collagen again. So if she stops using the product, she's gonna to continue to age like normal. It's not gonna go away. Again, this is not a topical application of a collagen. It's science. It's based on how the products are designed. And there's thousands of thousands of results all over the world, similar to, to what Winnie has, um, has seen. Reserve, my favorite product. We repackaged it. This product is the number one selling product in the world. Why is that? It's because it has, uh, it has uh, ingredients like Asahi berry, blueberry, green tea extract, pomegranate juice, Concord grape, sweet cherry juice, aloe vera. These are called superfoods. These are antioxidants. So our body oxidizes every single day. The stress, the environment, the diet, the things that we eat. I mean, everything causes stress, right? Well, that's our body oxidizes. It's similar to if you cut an apple in half, you leave it out for a few minutes, start to turn brown, right? Well, oxygen gets to the cells. Same thing happens to our body. This product is able to actually, there have been studies that have been done. Dr. S D David Sinclair of um, Harvard Medical School, which is a, a very prestigious medical school here in the US, he did some research. He discovered that resveratrol, which is in our product reserve, 
It's found on the skin of the red grape, the resveratrol is. It has a lot of health benefits. It helps lower high blood pressure, cholesterol level. Um, it's good for joint pain. It's good for inflammation. It, it, it dissipates um, joint, plain, joint pain. It's good for certain cancers. This is what Dr. Sinclair discovered. Now, our product reserve has resveratrol and it has many different ingredients as well. So what, so, and, and Dr. David Sinclair said that there's, a, there's a, a gene that's responsible for aging. So resveratrol is able to slow down the process of aging of our cells. So I call it the fountain of youth. If not for anything, please take this product. My mom takes it, my wife, my mother-in-law, my son, and I, everyone takes it. Why? It's because it's healthy living, right? We want to live healthy. <clears throat> and uh, remember I told, told you I'll talk about the AM, PM. Now, my mom's favorite product is AMPM. Why? It's because it contains up to 77 different vitamins, minerals, and herbs that work synergistically together to help our body slow down aging, our cells. And the AM, it gives, it gives her a lot of energy in the morning because that, she's 83 years old now. Um, she's a rock star, 83 years old, and she has a bundle of energy. And at night, she takes the PM because what it does for her is it helps her sleep better at night. Now, we've all known that if you get a good night of rest, you have more energy the next day, right? Plus, not only that, but our cells replicate, our cells rejuvenate as we sleep. So that's why they say you gotta get good night of rest, eight hours of sleep, really deep sleep, not just in and out of sleep. So this helps her, you know, if I take this, uh, when I take this product, I'm completely out. I have a hard time waking up if I take two capsules. So again, these are amazing products that people see in results all over the world. Now, we talked about a lot about products, right? Now, I knew nothing about, about um, nutrition, about diets, about skincare before Jeunesse. Now, why did I look at this? For me, it was be strictly because of the compensation, the money that's involved. How can I capitalize on this global economy? You know, we're, we're talking about uh, uh, the largest segment of population, the baby boom generation is migrating. And the next 20 years is the biggest economic trend that you and I will ever see. Why? Because they're retiring. When they retire, what do they want? They want to look young. They want to feel good. They want the energy break. They want to travel. They want money. So what perfect opportunity is this? Not just the baby boomers, but anyone, the millennials, everyone. Why? Because people want independence. <clears throat> So let's get into the money. This is the most favorite part of the slides for you and myself, or for myself, and I'm sure you'll see how you can uh, fit into this program as well. So Jeunesse, uh, the compensation plan, there's six different ways to get paid, and each way is on top of the other, in addition to the, the, the one before I talk about. So to get started with Jeunesse Global here in the U.S., it's $49.95. And what do you get for that? Well, you get a packet of material. You also get a replicated website. That means your business can be up and running within five minutes, longest 10 minutes to input your data, your name, your address, where do you want your checks to be mailed to. And then you have your own website that has all the products that I just talked about. It has award-winning videos. It has the ingredients. It has how to use a product. Not only does it have that, but it has a back office. You could so you could track your business. Let's say a friend of yours goes to your website, they buy a product retail. So this is the first way to make money. When they buy a product, for example, the reserve, a box of a reserve is 130, actually 139.95, and wholesale costs 87.95. So there's a $52 difference. So the company, let's say my friend in Hong Kong, they buy a box of reserve. There's 30 little packets that come in a box, and then the company will take their credit card, they'll uh, charge their credit card, and the company will ship the products and then send me my $52 commission. What did I have to do? I didn't have to go to the post office to deliver products. I didn't have to ship anything, package anything, nothing. The company has a warehouse. They'll deliver for me. That's why I think this is a perfect business because I don't have to have inventory. And in most businesses, uh, are, are not successful because all the inventory they have to carry, all the money that they have to stuff. In inventory so that eliminates that problem so first is retail profit and they could buy any of the products that I have <clears throat> and the company will deliver for them and I could track this on the back of my website by going to my back office say okay who ordered well I see that someone ordered something in Hong Kong or Malaysia or Singapore and I can see what they ordered and when it's gonna be delivered 
and all the details are there. And I could track my entire global business from my computer or my smartphone. Second is what we call retail sales bonus. Now I know we have a lot of friends from India who are here. Your retail sales bonus compensation is slightly different. It's very lucrative. So ask the person who invited you. They'll share with you how that works. So we have packages, many packages, depending on what country you are in. So for example, I'm gonna use the basic Supreme and Ambassador package. Now each package, there's a certain price point. For example, the basic is $199.95. And you get a few products to try out to see okay, what works, what doesn't, what do I like, what don't I like. And the ambassador package has almost all the products and there's other packages that are larger that has more products. Now, when I first started with Jeunesse, I started with the largest package. The reason why is my sponsor said that these packages are actually below wholesale. So if I buy more, I get a better deal. So it's a no brainer, right? So I bought the largest package not for me to sell, but for me to try out everything. Because if I don't try the AM, PM, if I don't try the NADA, I cannot share with others how, what it does for me. <clears throat> That's the reason I bought it. And I gave some to my mom, my wife, my son. So we were able to experience a difference. What does it do for me? So I continue to order the AM, PM, the reserve and the skincare line, because those are the things I like and my wife likes. And <clears throat> there's the, if you look at the last column, it's called customer acquisition bonus, cab bonus. This is in US dollars. Every time, let's say for example, I get started with the business, it's $49.95. Now, each country is different. Some countries are $29.95, and some countries actually in Vietnam, it's actually there's a promotion. So ask the person who invited you, they'll explain that to you. So once you have that the ability to buy wholesale by paying the $49.95, you're able to buy a package of products. So once you buy the package of products, you're in business for yourself. Now, one of uh, these are designed, these are optional packages. Let's say one of your friends, you know, they watch a webinar and said, well, you know, I want to get started also. How did you start? Well, I tell them I started with the largest package. Most of the time they'll say, 99% of the time they'll say, I want to start the same way that you did. So they buy a package, ambassador package, and the company rewards me with $200, US dollars. Now that's not bad because all I had to do was share the web of the, the webinar with a friend of mine or I explained how, the, how to make the money and the company pays me. It's a one-time commission. Now again, the Indian market is slightly different. And you could tell as many friends as you want. And if they buy a Supreme package, you earn $100, not so bad. But the reason I started with this company is because of residual income. What is residual income? Well, residual income is when customers keep buying the products over and over again, you get paid. Now, for example, if you look at um, column number three, it's called CV. It's labeled CV, it's commissionable volume, or I call it points. Now each package has a point value attached to it. And each product has a point value. For example, the ambassador package <clears throat> has 600 points. Excuse me. And the Supreme package has 300 points. So these points accumulate and they convert into dollars. Now my mom loves her AM, PM. She orders it every month. Well, I actually order it for her. And she continues to use it for years. She's been using it now. That's a consumable product. If I sell that product one time, I get a commission, right? But what if she continues to use a product? Well, these points accumulate. How does that work? Well, it's called team commission. This is a third way to earn an income here. Team commission. How does that work? Well, you build a team. The team. This is the, the system that I'm going to share with you. It's known as a binary system. You build a team of two people, one on the left, one on the right. <clears throat> Two legs, binary system. So when I invite one person, let's say I invite Dennis to join my team. He goes on one side, right side. And let's say I invite my friend Marie in Australia to join the team, join my, my business also because she sees something for herself as a benefit. So when she joins, she'll go on the left side. This is all automatic. I don't have to think about it. She goes to my website, she registers her information in, she pays for a package, and she goes automatically on my left side. <clears throat> And then depending on the package, see the points, 300 and 600, this is automatic number. When, when the, the, the computer sees that there's packages and these points accumulate, when there's automatically 300, 600 points, I receive a, a commission, it's called a cycle bonus of 35 US dollars. 
not so bad because Marie's going to continue to use the products and Dennis is going to use the products and he's not only going to use the product, but he's going to share with other people the product and the opportunity. Now, Dennis may be in Canada, but he has many friends around the world. So when he tells his friends, they're also going to go on his left side or right side. Now, infinitely deep, these points accumulate. I get to use these points for my cycles. So I could cycle once a month, once a week, once a day maybe five times a day, 10 times a day. Imagine 10 cycles a day. How much is that? $350 that you could earn. Now there's no income claims. This all depends on your work ethic and how hard you're willing to work. And the working hard is sharing. That's how simple it is. Now the, the most amount of money that you could earn on this team commission is $26,250 per week. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, you might be saying, is that true? I mean, if you're for the first time, I, I, people are skeptical. Right? When I first saw this, I saw a number. This is all numbers. More people buy the product around the world, more money I can make. Now, how would your life change? That's over $100,000 a month. Would your life change if you had that much com money coming in, uh, uh, into your, into your uh, bank account? Of course it would. Would you travel differently? Would you eat the different kinds of food? Would you... Would you give more to charitable organizations? Of course you would. Would you send your kids to a, a college of their choice rather than what your pocketbook can afford? Well, <clears throat> let's not even go to that much money. Let's just say, take the income that you earn at your work today. What if you can double it in the next year, next two years? Simple. If you can double your current income, what would that be like for you? Who would you be being? And how were you able to provide for your family? You know, just doubling. So we, I know there's a number between that $35 and the $26,250 that puts a smile on your face. You have to determine what that number is and how you achieve it just by sharing with more people. And when more people get uh, join the business, people like Dennis and Marie around the world, these are leaders. They get to build their business and along the way, you get to earn these points. There's more money in addition to the team commission the leadership matching bonus, number four. This is when you sponsor people. Let's say I sponsored Marie and Dennis. When they earn their $35 bonus, the company rewards me also. The company says, well, Voss, you brought some amazing people to the business because they're earning their $35. They're gonna give them their 100% of the $35 and I get 20% also. So the company matches $7 and gives it to me on level one. That means people I sponsored. When Marie sponsors someone else, that's known as level two to me. I receive 15% of their cycle bonus. Level three, I make 10%. Level four through seven, I make 5%. Now this may take some time, but it's the most rewarding work that you'll do because you're building on top of a building from what you have done before. You know, when I first saw this, I couldn't quite grasp the idea. All I knew is I have to talk to a lot of people. And from those lot of people, maybe one or two might say, yes, I want to do this. <clears throat> and the fifth way to make money is what we call customer acquisition incentive, where level one distributors, people that you personally sponsor, if you have personally have five customers, they're not building a business, they're just buying retail products or wholesale products, you actually get 5% uh, more on your level one distributor commission. Instead of 20%, you get 25%. And <clears throat> if you have 10 customers, you gain... 30%, it's just 10% more. Instead of 20%, you get 30%. Just don't leave any money on the table, as Samson would say. <clears throat> Next, sixth way to earn income is diamond bonus pool. Now, what is a diamond? Diamond is a, a person or a team of people who work hard and really uh, get, <clears throat> they, they get uh, rank advancements, meaning that you start the business one day and slowly you build a team, you build a team, here, everywhere, all over the world, and your team grows, and you advance to the level of diamond. And the company is very generous, Jeunesse. They put aside 3% of global volume. Remember, I said billion dollars in business we did last year alone, right? 3% of the commissionable volume they'll put aside, depending on your production as a diamond, you get to share this every quarter. Imagine every three months, you get a, a check, a check on top of what you see, what I just talked to you about. And I've seen some of these checks. They are so enormous. Again, I can't make claims to what they are, but it depends on your work effort and your work ethic.
Now, on top of that, <clears throat> timing is everything, isn't it? Either you want to do this part-time or you want to do this full-time. Maybe you want to do a career change. Maybe you want something different, excitement in your life. And together, you could achieve anything that you want. You know, we're talking about an award-winning company. The products are phenomenal. We've won so many awards for the products that we have. And the founders, as I mentioned, they have a heart of gold. We have what's known as the Jeunesse Kids Foundation, where we give back. We, give, we have given so much back to, to certain communities around the world to build the communities. So we're giving back as a company to, to make this place a better place. <clears throat> I know it's cliche, but it's really about helping others. We've been listed on the top 100 companies in the world by Direct Sales Association. Uh, this is a proven system. Nine and a half years later, people are receiving the products on time. They're getting their checks on time. People are happy. This is why more companies are looking at us and say, hey, who is this company, Jeunesse, that I've never heard about? Well, how, are they, how are they maintaining their, their business? How are they expanding globally all over the world? And, and not only that, but it's in, our websites are in multiple languages. And we have travel incentives. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about travel incentives. I just came back from a trip to Rome. There were, in our, the week that we were there, there were over 800 people. And the week after that, there were 1,200 more people came. These are people who won a trip. Now, these are only people, the one I went on, they're only people from North America. For example, America and the U.S. and Canada. Over, over 1,800 people have won this trip. This trip was one of the best trips I've ever taken. It seems like every trip that I take is better than the one before. <clears throat> It was at, it was at uh, uh, we all stayed at the Marriott Hotel, Marriott Park Hotel in Rome. And it was a beautiful city. I met so many new friends, uh, new friends from all over, the, all over the country that came together and they were all happy. You know, if not for anything, you wanna join this business just to win these free trips because Jeunesse goes all out. We, there were 15 buses that transported us to all over Rome. We went to the Vatican, we went to the 16th Chapel, the Spanish Teps, um, the, the Trevi Fountain. I mean, it was, it was a spectacular trip. Everything was covered and we had VIP entrance. So you wanna experience these trips, if not anything else. <clears throat> you know, have you ever wondered how far your dreams can take you? and how to achieve them. It's really about the decision you make. You know, I've talked about a lot of different things. This is really a new paradigm. And it's really about catching a proven system with cutting edge technology products and leveraging the global economy. And you know, it's, it's about joining a family. It's really not just a business. It's about locking arms with people around the world. And talking about people around the world, I wanna bring some friends of mine online to share their background and <clears throat> what they have seen um, with Jeunesse and why they're here. First of all, I want to <clears throat> I want to bring up uh, a friend of mine that I've met recently, and he comes to us from Canada. Okan, are you there? Hi, Vas. Good afternoon, nice Okan. How are you? Again. Yes, we see Very you good. again. Very I good. just saw you recently. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I know I know you are an immigrant from Hong Kong. Um, and I want you to tell the people who are here, what is it as a graphic designer? What is it that you saw with something that's completely different than graphic design? This is about wellness, it's about beauty, it's about health. What is it that you made the transition from doing what you're doing to what you're doing today with Jeunesse? Okay, so first of all, say hi to all people around online. So um, I'm, as you said, uh, it's just a really interesting question. Every, everyone asks me the same uh, uh, question. Uh, as a graphic designer and an immigrant from Hong Kong to Toronto for over 20 years, and I, as a graphic designer, it's, it's my lifelong career because I'm really enjoy and um, it is my dream work. So I suppose it's as a working lifelong. So. However, since uh, 2011, I noticed that some other senior designers, they become uh, jobless, need to change career, and even worse is uh, forced to early retire. So to me, it is kind of wake up call because mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I, I can't stay in my comfort zone anymore. So I need to do something. So the simplest thing is change my platform change my career 
or change myself. So I keep searching around, explore what's the other opportunities out there. So from 2011 to 2015, I found Jeunesse. Uh, my sponsor, Dennis Chow, he explained to me what it is. And I, I can say that finally I found it. So I just do the simplest thing. I just jump in. You know, so Alcon, that's the reason. <laughs> you mentioned something really um, that a lot of people around the world are facing. That's they're getting laid off from their jobs. And it's very sad because you, you work so hard for a company and like, okay, what do I do after this? Right? So you're able to see that and you're able to share with people how Jeunesse can, can save them from being laid off and really find something for themselves. Right? Okay, sure. Um, I only can say that it is much, much easier than what I, what I realized. So I just follow the system to prove the successful system and the uh, uh, platform and also the trend. So mm. just follow. And also there's a lot of leaders, mentors, uh, just like our first lady, Miss Kim Hui. His system, USGS, it is very powerful and just easy to follow. So um, if I, I, what I need to share is just follow. So it is the simplest way to do it. Yeah. So um, it is, to me, to me, uh, it is not a only uh, achievement to earn more income, earn more income. It is kind of personal growth. Because right now, I transform myself from a graphic designer to a distributor in Genesis from an introverted person to an open mind and sociable person. So every day I keep talking and keep meeting people, uh, yeah. totally transformed. So you know, yeah. it is very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> you know that. So I, see, later I can't on. even stop. So, I, I can't even stop Okan to, to, to get a word in. He's so excited now. <laughs> I, I don't know where he gets the, the, you're so shy and stuff, but, but you're, a, you're not an intro, introvert, you're an extrovert, at least. The, the Ocon that I know is an extra, extra because I, every time I see him in different parts of the world, he's excited about something. So, and you also mentioned a person by the name of Kim Hui. If you're here for the first time, Kim Hui is actually the, the master distributor. She's the first person that started with the company. Very successful. She has put together the USGS system that it's really enable people to be successful in a short period of time. So that's, how, that's who Ocon was talking about. Dynamic individual. You'll find her YouTube uh, training channel. Um, Kim Hui on YouTube, um, just a phenomenal individual who has a heart of gold who gives back. So, Okan, thank you so much for being here and sharing with us. Um, and I'll see you in Orlando. Okay, thank you, Vas. See you. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. Next, next we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly. I don't know where my friend uh, Sammy is today. But every time I talk to him, he's in another part of the world. He's traveling. He's doing this. He's playing badminton. He's eating. He's traveling. So our, is my friend Sammy around? Of course, uh, Bas. I'm here, back home. Sammy, yo, you're in L.A. now. Last time I'm I spoke. In LA. You're in, in China. LA, home. <laughs> home base. Home base. How welcome. Welcome, Sammy. So, Sammy, tell us. Uh, I know you, um, you're very successful in the, in the, uh, as an entrepreneur because you caught a trend in home computers years ago. And when that, when that trend went away, you're looking for what's next. So can you tell, share a little bit about what is that you discovered in the home computer business years ago and what success you achieved and what happened with the economic meltdown here in the US? Oh, thank you. First, I wanna say hi to my friends uh, globally and thank you for inviting me to come and share my story. You know, uh, uh, like yourself, uh, I'm also a, uh, uh, entrepreneur, uh, started a business and did well, but in traditional business, there's always ups and downs, and that's, it's not something that you can control. The environment, the global economy, your, your customers uh, decide sometimes uh, whether you're going to do well or not. And I was hit by the global economy like you did in 2008, 2009, and lost everything, uh, the business, and also almost my home, and I had no choice. I had to look somewhere else to rebuild. But at that time, I was almost 60. So it was difficult for me to rebuild and to reinvest. So uh, it was depressing and frustrating. And especially when I had 
uh, when I saw my wife had to go out and work and put food on the table. And for me, it was difficult to go get a job because all the time I've been a boss, uh, never worked for anybody. But fortunately, I had a good friend who invited me to a meeting, a business meeting. I sat down, looked around, and they were all Chinese. So I knew there must be opportunities here. And uh, sure enough, it was e-commerce, the, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, business that uh, you shared so well uh, is the uh, Jeunesse Global Business. When I saw that, I knew that was the thing that I, I, was, uh, I have missed when I lost the business. When I, I lost the business, uh, dot-com industry was just booming at the time, but there was no e-commerce and there was no uh, shopping cart. So that's how I got involved with this business. Well, you know, uh, I want to really uh, point something out now. <clears throat> uh, Sammy's an entrepreneur. And he's, he's, again, he's been very successful. What he just said was that he discovered something. What's next? How can I make a difference? When, I, when one business goes down, what's next for me? And you clearly said uh, what Jeunesse can do, and, and it's, it's what's next, right? It's really yeah. about making a difference. Uh, Jeunesse, uh, Jeunesse provides me the opportunity to recover. What I love, uh, rebuild everything, regardless of what age I'm in, is it? And this business is for anyone. It yeah. doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. And you don't know, you, oh, you got a system that you Ocon pointed out, you pointed out, the yeah. USGA system. All you sure. got to do is follow the system, you have an sure. opportunity. There is opportunity always. Yeah. Well, Sammy, thank you so much um, for, for sharing with us. And thank you. And you welcome back to the US. And um, let's <laughs> get you. to the next week. Sure, sure. Okay, sounds good, Sammy. Take care of yourself. Next, we're going to fly all the way to uh, Australia. Now, this individual, she is a dynamic leader. She has not done this type of business before. I want to introduce you to Marie. Are you there? I am. Good morning, Vass. How are you? I am well. How are you? Well, I'm equally well. I'm indoors, staying out of the cold weather. It's Perth, and we, w winter has finally hit here. I know. Blowing the gale out there. I just, you know, talking about social media, I just saw a posting my my um, cousin out there. They're going skiing. I said, skiing? We're like 70 degrees in Southern California. They're skiing in Australia. Well, we're, we're the other side of the world. So, yes, winter has struck. We don't get any snow here in Perth, but it's blowing a gale and it's been raining all weekend. Anyway, wow. nice to I'm be glad, with you, Bass. Thanks for having I'm me on. Glad you're, I'm glad you're indoor. Tell us a little bit about... Um, about what you saw with Jeunesse, I mean, this is completely something new for you. Indeed, indeed it was. You know, for those that haven't met me online before, my name's Marie and I'm over in Perth, Western Australia, and a long time background in, in health. I've been teaching in nursing and medical staff for a number of years. I run an intensive care unit and I now run, well, I, I work part-time, very part-time, just two days a week in intensive care, shuffling paper. Um, but you know what, I, there was a time when I was sort of open to looking at new things and Jeunesse was brought my way. And you're right, I didn't know much about network marketing when it first came into my lap. In fact, I knew nothing. I had no preconceived notions about what it might be. Um, and I must admit, it was the product line that, of Jeunesse that I first saw. And I did all my sort of digging around because I've got a fairly sort of a as I say, medical science brain. And I was very keen to see what was behind the product line. And I was sold on what the company offers in terms of the product right from the get go. But when I saw what was also on the table, and that's obviously the opportunity alongside, to earn, alongside the products to earn some money. Well, you know, that, that floated my boat. I had taken a, a really significant paycheck cut in order to be at home and raise a family. Um, and that, that was a choice. Obviously, I wanted to be there to be there for my girls. But I thought, how cool to be able to leverage this online platform and generate an income in and around working part time at the hospital, but also running the family home. So I, I figured it was a win win and it was a why not. And you've explained so eloquently, as have our other speakers, as to all the upsides of this business. You know, you can weave it in and around life. Um, we've got a great education system, is what I, <laughs> I like to say, around how to do this. And it doesn't preclude anybody from having a go, jumping on and joining the team. Sure. Um, you know, <clears throat> one of the things you said was, um, you, because you come from the medical background, you want to do some research, 
for me, it wasn't the product. I saw the, the money that when they talked to us, I jumped right away. But again, when, it's really amazing to hear that from someone of your background to, to, to really uh, tell us how, how beneficial these products are and what, how superior these products are because you've been there. You know why people go into intensive care. You know about health. You know what people deal with. Right? So and really that's what excited me is what, yes, I've seen a lot of ill health over my lifetime in, in nursing. Um, and, you know, I'm very, very well aware that, you know, science is progressing all of the time. And it was the, the thing that really captivated me was the whole stem cell science, that whole focus on, you know, you spoke about chronological age at the beginning. You know, what if we can actually slow down our biological aging and sure. age healthy and well and live a, a fruitful and long, healthy life? And that really excited me. Sure, sure. And it's, it's really not just slowing down that chronological or the biological age, but it's also now with technology that we have, Janessa has, we could actually reverse that biological age. That's reverse amazing. that and, yeah, and equally, obviously, with the change in the global financial situation in the last mm -hmm. sort of 10 years or so, you know, people are genuinely looking for new ways to do business, new ways to earn. Nothing is certain in terms of the job market right now. So sure. this is a win-win. Age well, make some money, and um, yeah, change your future. And I love, I love that. Yeah, and, and you know what, Marie, is, uh, through my travels in the last two months uh, in, into Asia, everyone is talking about online, online. I want to do something online. I want to make money online. I don't want to work for anyone. And this seems like the same common conversation all over, uh, yeah. all over Asia. So it, it's perfect timing. It's perfect timing, Marie. It is. Get with the program. We're in the 21st century. Yeah. That's, the, that's the fact. You know, that is the fact. That, that truly is. So again, Marie, thank you so much for being here. I know you got a, you had a busy morning today. Uh, thank you for sharing. And really, uh, you're, you have a wealth of information, wealth of knowledge that you brought to us. So thank you so much. And we'll see you again. Indeed. Have a great day over there, too. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> for those of you who are here, I really want to acknowledge you for the time that you spent with me. But uh, I may be done, but the next part, the second half, this is the most incredible part because I know some of you guys are thinking, is this for me? Does this work for me? Well, the next person, he is an expert. He is actually uh, is a trainer for us in the USGS system. He tells uh, people, what is next? Once you say, you know what, I do want to change. I want something different in my life. I want. I don't want the last five years to be the next five years of my life. I want something different. I'm willing to make a change today, and I need to know what's next. So please help me welcome Dr. Julian, who is going to take good care of you. Dr. Julian, are you out there? Yes, I am. Good evening, Vas. Amazing evening. presentation. I loved it. And also from all the panelists. Yes. Fantastic caring today. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Lynn, and, and I'll, I'll uh, leave this, uh, these, all these beautiful people all around the world who's on this webinar in your hands, and, and they're looking to see what's next, how do I get started, what do I do next? So thank you, Dr. Julian. Will do. Thank you, Vas. Well, just like Vas, I'm also 52 years old, and I hope I don't look my age, and I've often been told so as well. So that's the beauty in this platform. You know, we, not only do we look young, more importantly is to feel young, but also to live young, to live our dreams. And this is, and how we do it is actually by sharing it and by blessing this platform, what we have here in Jeunesse with others around the world. And this is actually how we grow the business. So today, uh, it's continuation of what I've been sharing in the past. Actually, it's a repeat, more or less a repeat of what I did on the success code. And this success code is not specific just to Jeunesse. It's for anyone in whatever you may be doing in life. Okay, so do, uh, even if you heard it the last time, I urge you to actually stick on because repetition is the mother of learning. So you do one because I'm sure you didn't catch. And you know, the last training that I did, um, I was so focused. I just finished the presentation, was just hot out of the oven. I didn't have time to actually even practice it. I, I didn't even present it to anyone else. And my focus was finishing it in 30 minutes. And you know what? The power of the mind, I finished it smack on in 30 minutes. But the thing was that I found that uh, after speaking to some of my leaders, maybe I wasn't very clear in some areas. And today, my focus is on clarity. So today, 
I'm going to give you more examples so that you grasp what I'm actually sharing with you. And do uh, stick on. Let me just, first of all, bring up the presentation. Let me put this out of the way. Okay, so this is a success code. It's actually a follow on from my uh, last series, uh, which is the one thing, what we need to do to be successful in this business. But even then, knowing what to do and being successful is another. So my focus on this series, and th this is the first part of the series, on what it takes to be successful. But first of all, I ask this question, and I pose this question to all my leaders. Why do 80% of people never truly succeed in life? In fact, the really successful people in life actually fall in the, the top 5%. But even then, 80% of people uh, uh, generally do not succeed in life. So, you know, what I got back was that, you know, people are resistant to change. The ego gets in the way, fear, confidence, expectations, consistency, feeling unworthy for achievements towards success, our beliefs. So, <clears throat> yes, I'm not saying that they are all, you know, they're not correct. They are. but. Uh, I wanted to summarize it in a single word. And that single word to me is conditioning. And what do I mean by conditioning? I will actually explain all this in the slides to come, but this is what I've been doing in Janas for the last five years. So this is my moment of truth that I'm actually spilling to all of you. You know what? I lie, I cheat, and I steal. <gasps> You may be gasping and says, what? Do we need to lie, cheat and steal? You know, just bear with me. All will be revealed towards the end. But let me just share with you what it actually takes to be successful. Well, success is 80% psychology and only 20% skills. So I'm not saying that skill is not part of the requirement, but you know, what I actually shared in that one thing, the one thing that we need to do to be successful in life, and in, in particular in Jeunesse, is it was more of skills, right? The skill sets that we need to build. But success stems more from actually having the right mindset. So mindset is very important. And this doesn't come from me. This comes from Tony Robbins, as you all would know him well. Well, let's look at the brain and the human anatomy. And, you know, ever since the dawn of age with men, what we've been programmed to do in life is to survive, to, to be aware of any dangers and to be able to, to, to proactively take action, even at the subconscious level, to, to, to either run away or to, to defend ourselves in any form of danger, to actually seek out food and shelter. That is how we survive, to procreate right? These are what we have been programmed to do in life. But you know what? The brain only consists of 2% of our body weight, but it actually consumes up to about 20% of the oxygen and the nutrients, the energy that we need in our life. So even though it's a small part of the human anatomy, but it actually, you know, consumes a lot. So the thing is, we actually, in, within our brain, at the stem of our brain, we have what is known as the reticular activating system, RAS for short. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on, on elaborating what RAS is, but RAS is very important because it's, it acts like a filter. Because we, in our life, through all our five senses, right, we actually receive about two million bits of information at any single point. And you are probably being bombarded by all of them, at this point in time while sitting down here, all right? But this reticular activating system acts as a filter because when we are bombarded with all this information, we are not, the brain, the conscious brain is not able to cope with all that information that's coming in at, any, at, at, at the same time, right? So this RAS, the RAS, actually filters what is important and it's, it's essentially for our survival, all right? To keep us safe essentially. So um, I know that to put it this way, um, when, and, and this is a very common statement, 
and, and we often hear, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, right? All of us have heard this statement. You know what? It's, it's not about the teacher appearing. The teacher has always been around us. But the thing is that we've never been aware because our rectically activating system wasn't activated at that point in time to be aware that the teacher was just next to us. They have always been around us. Let me give you an example. When you buy, when you're out there to shop for a new car, as I did for my car as well, right? We, we look, okay, we look around for the car model that we are looking for and, and, and then we, we choose the color based on what we see and then we may notice a few of these models around us, okay? Just as soon as you make that purchase of the car, you will see it everywhere. Even though you may not have seen it that much before, prior, but as soon as it becomes activated in our rest, it will start to appear everywhere, right? It's just like our name as well. When you may be in a crowded environment in a party, the, the music is blasting away and you're chatting with friends, and suddenly your name is called. And even though it may be quite a distance away from you, and normally you wouldn't be aware of it, our reticular activating system actually creates that awareness and we are aware that our name was called. Okay, this is what RAS does. And it is there so that we consume less energy to survive. And this is what I mean by conditioning and all the programming. So according to cognitive neuroscientists, we are conscious of only about five to 10%, okay? In this case, 5% of our cognitive activity. So most of our decisions, actions, emotions, behaviors depend on the 95% of brain activity that goes beyond our conscious awareness. So this is a very good analogy of the iceberg. We only see about a tip the 10% or the 5% tip of the iceberg, whereas most of our, whatever drives us to success actually resides in the subconscious or the unconscious brain, all right? So let me give you an analogy. All right, you are the captain of your ship. So you are the captain, you are the conscious mind, all right? And the conscious mind, the captain, you are at the bridge giving commands but it is at below deck at the engine room where all that 90 or 95% of the work that is being done by the subconscious mind. All right. So wh what I'm saying is that success is not based on what we just think cognitively, but it is more driven by that 95% based on the commands that we give to the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind cannot differentiate itself between whether something is good or bad. Whatever commands we give it, it is going to execute it. So let's look at the statistics in terms of why people are not successful. 80% of us are not successful. Well, an average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day, a single day. And of those 80% are negative. Can you imagine? We have, say, 50,000 thoughts a single day. 80% of them are negative thoughts. And what's worse, 95% of them are repeated thoughts. This comes from the US National Science Foundation. So what does it mean? That most of us, that 80% of people, or even 95%, we are excluding that 5% that are extremely successful in life, say the 80%. We are thinking negative thoughts every day, and 95% of them are repeated. So don't you wonder why most of us are not successful? So in order to be successful, it is mindset. 80% percent of it is mindset and we have to break this negative thoughts and then this repeated negative thoughts uh, that we have every single day. So these are the four critical stages of development that we see in humans, right? From ages one to seven, this is known as the imprinting stage. In psychology, it's known as the imprinting stage. And basically what it means is that growing up from age one to seven, we're still, you know, we, we do not have much in terms of experiences, in terms of knowledge we are absorbing like sponges to everyone around us, mainly our parents and our teachers and, and our friends, the few friends that we may have from age one to seven. 
So at age seven, seven to 14, this is a stage where we start to model, right? Where we start to model our teachers, where we start to model our parents, we start to model uh, people that we look up to. From ages 14 to 21, this is a social, known as a social, socialization period. And essentially what it means is that we are, we are meeting more people, we're joining groups, and we are building our character. And, and eventually from ages 21 and above, we are actually forming our identity. And it, it's from that point on, it's pretty much set. In terms of, and, and the, the worst thing is that with the imprinting stage, this early years, we are picking up things that are often very negative, okay? And, and this is being, it's, it's starting to grow within us at the unconscious level. So we may not be conscious about it as we do not are unconscious that we are thinking uh, about 80% of our thoughts are actually negative, right? So it often is. So the idea is for us to be successful is to break this chain of events. So whatever, and, and you know, very successful individuals, uh, they may not agree on everything, but this is what all of them agree upon. This single statement, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it's, it's important not just to conceive, but to believe it, it can achieve by Napoleon Hill. As someone thinks within himself, so he is. Proverbs 23, 7. What we think, we become. Buddha. So these are, you know, fan, uh, great people from different periods of life that, you know, have the same thought about, you know, thought and, and what it actually leads to um, as, as humans towards success. So there's a great book by James Allen as well, As a Man Thinketh. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances, but he can choose his thoughts and so indirectly and yet surely shape his circumstances. So good read, do, do sort out that book if you can. So this is my formula for success. So it's all about mindset. Remember 80% of success is mindset. Mindset equals and the ABC, squared. And what do I mean by ABC squared? So A, it's about attitude, right? And, and I'll explain that a little later. B is about belief, as I've already explained and covered that a little somewhat. And third is commitment, C. C is about having, sorry, confidence, right? If you look at anyone that is successful, do you see confidence? And do you feel, or do you, and I'm sure you would probably know deep down in your heart, even though you may not have that level of confidence yet, but if you had confidence, would you be successful? It's definitely part of the equation. And the third C is actually commitment. Because to be successful, you know, we have to commit to whatever we need to be doing. And we will achieve success. So mindset equals to a b c squared take it into memory so let's look at an attitude your attitude not your aptitude not your ability not your skills alone will determine your altitude in life i love this quotation from zig ziglar so how do we have positive attitude well first of all attitude is intrinsic okay it's not ex extrinsic it's not based on on whatever happens in the, in the environment just like i gave you the example earlier you know, when, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. No, the teacher has always been there, except that, you know, with the mind and, and what we see the world is based on our perception, right? Based on what we are attuned to at that point in time. And, and most of us are attuned to negative thoughts. So in order to break that, it's to actually have to break that negative cycle by making the right choices. So anytime, whenever you catch yourself, and, and this is where focus comes in, right? You want to activate your rest, you focus on something, you focus on anything that is negative, you stop it in its track. It's a choice. It's a choice that you and I can make. So even though you may be having negative attitudes in the past, your past does not determine your future, all right? you can actually break it. It is a choice that each and every one of us can make in life. 
So adopt a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. This is from Carol Dweck, a, a, a great book on, on growth mindset. So what it essentially means is that the mindset is not fixed. We have the opportunity to grow it, to make it positive. So do read more about this book. Conscious of your thoughts, and this is what I actually just shared earlier, and your words you use. The words that we use are very important. You know, I often say uh, I'm, I'm very bad at remembering names, and I do apologize for a lot, to a lot of people that in, you know, in instances where I'm not able to recall your names, but I don't want to keep making that excuse, right? I need to be saying I have a great memory. I can remember people's names very well, right? So make it not only intrinsic because it's attitude, you know, is intrinsic, but also catch whatever you may be thinking at your conscious level, at the, at the extrinsic level. So believe, you know, and I know it's cliche, but this is very true. Ask, believe, and you shall receive. So if you want a change in your life, you want things to be better, right? Don't wish for it to be better. You, you want to become better because that's the way that you are able to achieve what you want to achieve. But ask, and whatever you ask that you believe in, you will receive. So more dreams have been destroyed by doubt than will ever be destroyed by failure. So don't let failure stop you in your tracks. So this is the formula for success. And this is actually from Andrew Carnegie. He is a very successful, one of the wealthiest people in the world, especially back in, in the early 1900s. Well, um, Andrew Carnegie, despite his success, he actually wanted to, to, to create, or, or rather to find someone to actually help formulate what are the laws to achieve success. Well, he actually appointed, um, they, no, actually, he, he actually appointed Napoleon Hill and Napoleon Hill was a, a writer at that point in time, in, a, in his early 20s, a struggling writer, but he had an appointment, an interview with Andrew Carnegie for about three hours. And it actually prolonged for another three whole days, okay? So I won't go through the entire story, but essentially, Andrew Carnegie commissioned uh, Napoleon Hill to find out what are the laws of success that anyone that wants to achieve success, if they abide to these laws, they will achieve success. And, and obviously, uh, one of the questions that uh, Andrew Carnegie asked, uh, put forward to Napoleon Hill was that, I'm not going to pay you for the next 20 years, but if you decide to take this on, I will recommend people that are very successful to you, that you can meet, and would you take on this this opportunity. Well, fortunately, Napoleon Hill did, and he decided in just 29 seconds, and he was then was commissioned by Andrew Carnegie. He stayed with Carnegie for the next three days, and he was given referrals to meet very, very successful people, and the end of which, uh, Napoleon Hill came out with a book, uh, a, a very, very popular book. Um, so let's, and, and Andrew Carnegie, just gave this statement. In this 20 year period, there are a lot of times that you will give up. You will feel like giving up. I'm going to share with you one secret that I've been applying in my life that if you were to do, you will sustain and complete this mission. And that statement is this. He says, and this is something that uh, Napoleon Hill is supposed to repeat to himself every single day, every morning when he wakes up and every night before he goes to bed. He says this. So remember, Napoleon Hill has to say this. Andrew Carnegie, I am not only going to equal your achievements in life, I'm going to meet you at the gate and pass you at the grandstand. Can you imagine Napoleon Hill was, a strugg was struggling in life and he's meeting this very successful gentleman, Andrew Carnegie, the richest man in the world. And he is having to say this statement 
I'm not only going to equal your achievement in life, I'm going to meet you at the gate and pass you at the grandstand. That is a bold statement. So uh, obviously, uh, Napoleon Hill took it, took it to heart and he started to say it. He would say it very sheepishly at the beginning, but the more he started to say it, he was to say it for at least 30 days and continue it for the rest of his life. Within that 30 day period, that, that sense of belief, you know, initially he didn't believe what he was saying. He started to believe. So my, what I'm trying to say is that the formula for success is what we repeatedly say to ourselves as well. So it's very important. So take the, the mentor that you really look up to in this business. And for me, it, it, and for all of you, it could be uh, Samson, it could be Kim Hui, it could be Yvonne Yen, yes? So in this case, I'm just using this as an illustration. Kim Hui, and rather than saying, I'm not only going to equal, okay? Affirmations need to be in the present, not the future. So make it the present. Whatever affirmations you do has to be as though you've already achieved it, all right? It has to be now. So Kim Hui, I equal your achievements in life. I'm going to meet you at the gate and pass you at the grandstand. So repeat this affirmation to yourself every day, every morning when you wake up and every evening before you've, you go to bed. And your belief in your success in this business will start to grow. So the science of thought, and I did show this equation uh, during my last presentation and, and people didn't really understand it. The, the idea is not for you to understand this equation, but it's just to show you that there is actually a the science behind thought and how we materialize things in our life. And it's, it's embodied in this Schrodinger wave equation, which proves mathematically that is the infinite field of possibilities, just as the atom has the ability to be a particle or an energetic wave. But as soon as we as observers start to take measurements on it, does that infinite field of poss possibilities collapse into one finite reality, making it your life? Now, that is the science of thought, the field of, you know, uh, the, the science of thought, the field of thought. And what the quantum physics has to say in terms of how we materialize things in our life. There is a science behind it. So what I'm just saying is very simple. Just as there is a, uh, the law of gravity and it's a constant, the Schrodinger wave equation, the science of thought, what we believe in, what we, our thoughts and our beliefs, produces what we want to achieve in life. We are where we are because of all the decisions that we've made in our lives that has actually brought us to where we are. And our external world is actually a reflection of our internal world. So in order to be more successful in life, we have to change the mindset. We have to change our thoughts to the positive. So how to build your beliefs? And in particular, how do you believe, build your beliefs in, in this business, in Jeunesse, for instance? Well, borrow on the beliefs of others. And what do I mean by this? You know, in this platform, we have amazing mentors. We have amazing USGS system. Uh, we, we, you know, we plug into it. We, there are a lot of people that see potential in us that we may not see potential in ourselves. That's what I mean by borrowing the beliefs of others. But also, it doesn't stop there. Borrowing the belief of others is also when we plug into events, when we hear the testimony stories, when we hear the passionate sharing of the leaders, the transformation that one has in life. That is the belief that as the more we hear, will start to grow in us as well. Build your beliefs in the products by using them, it's very important that you are confident about what you are intending to share. And hearing testimonies of others, essentially what I've just shared, build your belief of the company and the opportunity. Essentially, any objections that we may face in this business is just down to two beliefs. Would you believe it? It's just down to two beliefs. The belief 
of the industry, the, the opportunity, all right? That's one belief. Um, a lot of people may have negative preconceptions about the industry, the network marketing industry. Well, the idea is if our beliefs are stronger than theirs and we can show them the value that this platform provides and sharing the stories of others that actually impacts them, it is going to help them shift their belief, that state of belief. And also it's about the belief in most importantly, like as I started in this business, just like Ocon, I'm a very, can you imagine I'm a very reserved uh, person. Uh, I come from a family of five boys. Out of the five, I'm the eldest, but I'm the quietest, right? And, and I, wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't believe that I would be doing webinars like this, all right? Five years ago, before I started Jeunesse, I wouldn't be, believe that I'm doing so much more because of this platform, because of the transformation that we see through this platform. So it is, you know, building that sense of belief, borrow the belief on others. All right, and that's how I started to grow. And the more successes that you see, along with the failures that we may face, but we overcome, we will eventually succeed and we will become better and better. So these are the five Ps for actually building beliefs, not in just yourself, but in all the business partners that you bring into the business. First is the P, the first P is to plug in your business partners into the system. Okay, once they plug in, it's, it's not just you that they are borrowing the beliefs from, it's, it's the entire system, the entire organization that they are actually building their beliefs on. And second is to actually earn in this platform, to, to actually have that paycheck, okay? So the second P is paycheck, for them to actually receive their paycheck. As I've already covered in the past, in my last training, when someone receives even one US dollar in this business, six months after into the business, 70% of them remain. But if they receive nothing at all, six months into the business, only 20% remains. So we want to have that ability to, to actually have sustainability. Next is to be promoted. We want ourselves to be promoted. We want our business partners to up rank in this business. And the last is to actually have lots of praise, all right? Give people the confidence that they can achieve what they have sought out to achieve through Janas, and we do it collectively as a team. And the last P is about personal growth because in order for us to achieve more, to want more in life, we have to become better. Don't, don't wish things were easier, all right? Wish that you are better become so when we you know the 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 put it is is very simple the thing that holds us back is often what we see in the mirror so if we we need to excel and to start to really grow in this platform to be before we become and and through that transformation that is how success seeks you out that is the law of attraction if you like or the law of abundance. And as I mentioned, it's a constant. So do you believe you are a diamond? Well, you know, we may not believe. When I first started in this, this business, I didn't think I could be a diamond, but over time I did, All right? So it's a very important question that you build your belief. And let me ask you this question. You know what? You are a champion. You have achieved far greater success than, a, than any diamond, okay? And, and let me give you an, an illustration that you've done it in the past. Say, I'm sure most of you have watched this Hunger Games. It's at the, you know, Ditopian post-apocalyptic future in the nation of Panam, where essentially there were 12 nations, they pick a boy and a girl, and they each had to battle to the death. There can only be one survivor, right? The, the question is, if we were put in this situation, do you think you can survive? Just out of 24 people, you can be the victor. Well, we, we are not in, in, in a business in, in eliminating anyone, right? The beauty in Jeunesse is that there is not only one diamond, there can be many, many diamonds in this platform. But you, you and I, 
we have put in a situation far, far worse than this. And what do I mean by that? Well, when we were conceived in this world, in, in the male ejaculation, there are about 200 million sperms, right? And only about 2,000 of them reaches the cervix, and only 200 reaches the egg, out of which only one penetrates that egg, becoming you. Can you imagine the odds? Well, in this case, you have already done it. You are a champion. You have been put in this world for a reason, right? So unfortunately, because of all that conditioning and the pre-programming that we've had in life, it, is, it has actually stifled us and we've become very, very negative. So in order to go back to our roots, to why we're here on planet Earth, is to actually identify what we are here for, to find our purpose, and to be really, to live a life of excellence. So success is, as I have already mentioned, we are the sum of all the decisions we have made in our life. Here again is another statement by Tony Robbins. So, but where we are in life and all the mistakes or you know, whatever wrong we've done in the past does not determine our future. What determines our future today is to make that right decision to change from where we were, now that you're conscious, uh, consciously aware of what needs to be done, to become the person that you've always meant to be. The divine creator has created you for something even far greater, right? So this is what we sh should be seeking in our lives. So these are the six processes to success. I'm gonna to try to speed it up. I know I, I'm taking a little longer. So first is to actually be responsible, all right? In order for us to, to break out of what, where we come from, we have to take responsibility. We are where we are in life because of all the decisions we've made, all right? We do not put the blame on anyone or any circumstances that has, you know, brought us to where we are, that, that, you know, that has stopped us from achieving what we want to achieve. So take responsibility. That is, you know what, you may think that I'm, I'm very intelligent and I want to think, and I am intelligent, right? It's always about thinking positive. It's always about being positive as opposed to negative. But if you were to look at my school report card, you would think otherwise. I had red marks here and there. But it's only when I got up to university and all because of all the pre-programming that I've had in my life to actually indicate that my success is going to be determined by how well I do from that point on. And because of that, I took responsibility and I said, I drew a line in the sand <clears throat> and to say that from this point on, I'm going to change. I, I, I'm going to do very well. So we also need to identify why we are not successful. So you understand why you're not successful, why you're not achieving what you want to achieve, but also what is stopping you from achieving those. It's, it's like fear, it's like doubt, it's the lack of confidence, whatever it may be that is stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve. So identify them. You want to get to the roots, the cause, of the problems that actually has pre-programmed that in your life. Once you've done that, you then make that decision, whatever decision that may be, moving forward that you are going to change and things are going to change. You see, a precursor to decision is, the, is desire, is to actually want it. First of all, if you want something more in life and, and deep down in, in your heart, that's what you really want, make that decision to achieve it. Next is to commit. You know, when I, despite my failings in my education in the past, I drew a virtual line in the sand and I said, this, from this day forward, I am going to be successful. I'm going to actually do well in my degrees. And you know what? You don't see that change very quickly. It, it, it takes weeks, it takes months before you start to see some change. But at the end of a year, you see that mark difference. In two years, you definitely see a difference. At the end of three years, you know what? From someone that was getting red marks here and there in, in, in my report cards, I got first class honors in my first degree, mechanical engineering degree that I did, okay? I was then presented with a scholarship 
to do my PhD. You know, in life, I thought a degree is, is as far as I will go, all right? I was offered a PhD, a scholarship to do my PhD. I was paid to actually study and I said, why not? So I don't say this to brag, but I say this to impress upon you that anything is possible. Just as long as we take this process that I've just defined here into heart and into practice, we can achieve what we set our minds to. Next is to unlearn and relearn. My success didn't come from hard work that I put into my studies necessarily, right? I also mixed around with people that were better than I. So in this platform, you will have people that are already ahead of you, like I'm a little, maybe a little ahead of you, to actually help guide you. You have mentors, and that is part of the process to success. And we need to really unlearn and to relearn because we need to forget what has conditioned us in the past and to relearn skills and to, to reprogram our mindset towards success. And that's breaking the conditioning. So what do I mean by, by, by this? And I've trained this in the past. At the beginning, we may be unconscious, just like the car example I gave you. As soon as we bought the car, we see it everywhere. But we were not conscious. It's always there, but we were not conscious about it. But once we become aware, we have in conscious, we have conscious incompetence, i.e. we may not be very good at it or whatever we are starting up to do, like riding a bicycle, but at least we are conscious in terms of what we need to do. That is to pedal, right? So the more we do it, we are gonna, we are gonna fail, we're gonna fall. It's gonna be painful at times, but when we continue to do it, we will have conscious competence. We will start to be able to cycle. But where we need to, to, to get to is this stage of mastery, where it becomes unconscious competence. Just like I'm able to talk to you with, actually now think about it, I do not have fear. In the past, I would be really scared to be speaking in front of an audience, right? But think of it now, my focus is on something else. And that's actually how I shifted my fear to something else. So the idea is to make everything that you want to achieve, all the habits, is unconscious competence. And that's what we need to achieve. Just like, you know, I may be on a cell phone talking to a client, all right, uh, not on hands-free. Uh, and before I know it, I've reached my office. Why? Because it's, it's, it's unconscious competence. That is where we need to get to in whatever it takes for us to achieve success in anything that we want to do in life. And, and I've already spelled that out in that one thing uh, in the past, in, in my past series of training. So the six processes to success, the six is action. Action, you know, all this thinking about it, believing about it, belief is very important because if you believe in something, you will automatically take the action because, you know, our thoughts creates the feelings and our feelings creates the action, which then leads to the event that we want to achieve. So action is a prerequisite. So for those of you that wants to know what it takes, what you need to do, watch my, you know, the, the three series, my first, ep the, the first episode, the first three episodes of the one thing. Okay. So the moment of truth, what do I mean by lie, cheat and steal? And this is what I've been doing for the last five years that I've actually been in Janesse. Well, it's to lie to your conscious brain, your, your, your ego, whatever your thoughts, your pre-programming, -program, pre your conditioning is going to hold you back. So you have to keep lying to your conscious brain that, you know, go from the negative to flow to the positive. Where your energy goes, your you know, things will grow, right? So cheat fear. And one of the greatest things, and I think it's for most people, is that we get into a comfort zone and we are afraid to get out of it. Fear, so make sure you cheat fear and also steal back your confidence. And this is what I've been practicing for the last five years. So lie, cheat, and steal for the good reason. All right? And you will be successful in whatever you set your mind to. So before we finish, what we manifest as a summary in our lives is based, as mentioned, on our thoughts, our belief, imagination, 
our attitude, our words we use, very important. So whenever you find yourself saying something negative, stop it in its track and change it and take actions daily and you will actually achieve success. So just one more thing. This is uh, my prospecting mindset that I use and I hope it's actually helpful to you with regards to the mindset that you need to have to be successful in actually prospecting others in this business. And I hope it actually helps you too. First, P is about posture. You know, in this business, we are the bearer of good tidings, right? We are the person that is actually bringing a gift. That is the posture that we are supposed to have. We are not out there to beg. It's the reverse. We have something amazing to share that is going to bless someone's life, that is going to transform them and help them attain whatever they want to attain in life and more of it, okay? That is the posture that we all need to have. E is enthusiasm, okay? When I first started in this business, uh, having owned my own businesses for 20 years, I was, I was a bit reluctant to actually do this as a business, but because it was my wife that introduced it to me, and she being serious about it, I couldn't say no without good reason. I started to do my due diligence because I wanted to know that if I were to do this, that uh, it, you know, it's going to last, right? Because we, we've heard that there are a lot of negativity about the industry and I had that preconceived notion about it as well. But what I discovered and, and uh, Vas has shared it so well, it just blew me away and I knew this company was going to be very successful. But my problem was not that I don't only see people that are successful, but I didn't have that belief. Remember, I was very quiet. I didn't have that sense of belief that I could achieve it. But there, there was nothing to lose. So I said, okay, I told my wife, let's do it. And that's how I started in this business. So R is about relationship. This is what you want to focus on. When you go out to prospect someone, I know you have a target. You may be doing that 210315, the Amoeba program, and you have set yourself a target towards success, which is good. But your focus should not be on your target. Your focus should be on building the relationship that you have with whoever you're prospecting with to actually listen. Listening is the key because when we listen, they are going to give us everything that we need to actually help them close themselves in this business. So, and this is the most important thing, okay? The next two is very important. It's about clarity. For me, when I meet someone, it's to actually have the clarity in terms of where they are in life and where they want to get to. And when I have that clarity, and only when I have that clarity, do I show them the potential vehicle, this platform that we have, to help them bridge the gap to where they want to get to, okay? Only when I have the clarity. That's one part of the clarity, understanding, listening to what they really want in life. The next part of the clarity is that whatever I deliver has to be clear so that they can absorb what is really in it for them. To have that clarity both ways. That's very, very important. And the next is value. And in life, in, in business, if you want to be successful, it's about bringing value. So if, if someone is to complain it's expensive, they do not see the value, right? If someone says they have no time, it could be just an excuse because they don't see the value. But the greater the value, the greater clarity that you have in terms of creating that value, in terms of what Jeunesse brings and what this platform brings, so what USGS system, and what the whole system has for them, then they are coming in for their own reasons. So I hope this helps you. And this is actually perceive, right? It's perception. Everything is perception because what we perceive in the world may not necessarily be what is happening in the world, but it's what's happening internally. So in order for you to be successful, it is all about having that right mindset. So I hope this training helps you. Do plug in, in or go back to the previous trainings of the one thing to actually know more. 
And the next future trainings I'll be training on will be on the skill sets, what it actually takes, what sort of skills that you need, that you need to build to be successful in a platform like Jeunesse. With that, I wish you every success and I hope to meet you all soon and in person as well. Thank you and goodbye. If you see something for yourself, get back to the person who shared this video with you. And don't forget to subscribe to the official USGS YouTube channel to receive future videos.